everyone, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day seven of my 12 days of Craftmas series here on YouTube. So in today's video, we are going to be making a loaded hoop happy mail. I love making loaded hoops and I made one last year for a Christmas swap and the one I made last year was pretty tr uh, traditional with the colors and everything. So I thought that this year I would go for a more cutesy, fun, not so traditional kind of style. So the collection I'm using is called Oh What Fun by My Mind's Eye and it's super cute, super adorable. Um, and yeah, I already have my pieces cut for the back of the hoop and the pocket here. So to do that, I just laid my paper flat and then used a pencil to trace around the outer part of the hoop and then um, cut it out. And for the pocket, I just traced half of it and then cut it out. So I am just going to start making this little mail here. So unfortunately, um, where I have my hot glue gun plugged in, it doesn't reach to my table. So I'm going to have to kind of edit and cut some of those bits out. But to start, I'm just going to add some glue all the way around the hoop here and then secure it down. And then I'm just going to do the same. I'm going to add some along the side here and then just glue the pocket down and then I will be right back. All right guys, so this is what the hoop looks like so far. I hot glued the backing down and then the pocket as well. So now I have a nice little pocket to stuff all the goodies into. This is what the back looks like. What I really liked about the paper from this collection is that it was double sided. So everything will look cute and finished. So the next step I'm going to do um, is to add some pom-pom trim. So I am thinking of adding this mini white pom-pom trim along the top of the hoop part here to kind of create like a snowball effect. And then I kind of want to go and be a little adventurous with this pom-pom trim um, because I'm thinking of hot gluing it all the way around the side of the hoop, um, which I've seen people do before and it always looks like extra fun, extra cute. I've never done it, so I'm hoping that it turns out well. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go hot glue the pom-pom trims down and then I will be back to start decorating. Okay guys, so here is the hoop with all of the pom-pom trim on. I actually really like the larger pom-pom trim along the edge here. Um, since it's pink and the paper is pink, I think it just works really well together and looks super cute. And then I also like this here with the snowflakes and it looks like little snowballs. So super happy with how that turned out. So now I am just going to start decorating the hoop itself and then we will move on to adding some goodies to it. So um, in the kit that I got, it came with some enamel dots, stickers, the paper, and the ephemera pieces for this collection. So I've already pre-selected some little pieces of ephemera that I think would look cute um, on the center part of the pocket here. So there's this little wreath piece and I want to add this super cute little reindeer just in the center of it. Um, I just think that that little die cut is super, super cute. And then there are some little presents here, which I think are also cute. So I'm going to add those to the bottom right there. And then just some extra little pieces here and there. I just think that that looks super cute. Um, just perfect, adorable. Um, so I'm just going to adhere all of these pieces down.
Alright guys, so I have the majority of the hoop now decorated. I just used a glue stick to glue down the wreath back here, as well as this little present. And then for the other three items, I just used some mounting tape um, that I got at Joann's just to kind of give it more dimension and make these stand out a bit more. And then to glue down this little banner that says Joy, I just used my hot glue gun to make sure that it really sticks to the hoop and doesn't fall off when I put the goodies in. And now to just kind of finish up the hoop, I'm going to add some stickers, um, maybe some of these gold snowflakes, as well as some of the enamel dots just to kind of give it that finished up look. the hoop completely decorated. I think it looks super cute and now it's just time to fill it up with the goodies. So I'll just kind of show you quickly what I'm going to try to fit inside of here. I'm not sure if all of it will fit but we're gonna see. So I'm including some of these little holiday phrase stickers. I'm going to include some tags which are clipped together with a little pom-pom clip that I made. I'm also including some deer head punch outs that I just used my Fiskars punch for. And then I just punched out some gold, um, silver and white glitter ones. I'm also going to be including a couple of these tags, which I actually picked up at Tuesday morning. So this one says, open me first. And this one says, no peeking, zero zilch nada. So I thought that that was really cute to include. I'm also going to include this little wood veneer reindeer, as well as some chipboard cutouts. So we have a red glitter star and a little candy cane. I also made some teeny tiny little rosettes and I have a tutorial on my channel on how to make these so um, I will leave that linked in the description box down below in case you want to check it out. And then I'm also including this little gingerbread house um, envelope which I got from Michaels and um, inside of it I just put some little chalkboard stickers that say Merry Christmas. So super cute. And then I just have a ton of clips um, that I'm just going to try to clip um, anywhere I can on the goodies um, to include them. So I have this little one that I made with a mint green tassel which matches the paper nicely and I just added some little jingle bells to that. I also have this little gold clothespin which is from Target, a little pink one, and a green Christmas tree one which I think is from Michaels and I got it years ago. Um, so I just haven't used up all of those yet. And I'm also going to be including this little um, pink and red pencil, which is from the Target dollar spot this year. So yeah, now I just have to try to get all of this to fit in here. And if it doesn't, it's um, fine because I'm going to add extra little goodie bags with a Happy Mail. So if it all doesn't fit, I can just include it in a different um, goodie bag. So yeah. So here is the completed project and I think it's super cute. I managed to fit all of the goodies in here but um, except for like a few little clips and I think that it turned out super cute and there is a little bit more room for goodies in here so I will probably add some more. I'll just go through my stash and see what else um, is festive and Christmassy that I can include in here. But yeah, here is the completed hoop 
and the jingle bells on this little clip make noise, which is always fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found this video um, helpful if you've never made a hoop before or just inspiring for the Christmas time. So um, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you have not yet for more crafty videos like this. Thank you so much for tuning in to day seven of my 12 Days of Craftmas series here on YouTube. Be sure to tune in to day eight where we are going to make some little gift boxes that you can pass out to friends, family, and coworkers. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Take care and happy crafting. Bye.